Ain't No Half Stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den. Legacy Internet Radio. Appreciate everybody who is here, who's been rocking with us. We are here just after uh, the three-hour mark. So we're going to get through our rants and we're going to get through our closings. We're going to run through it, hopefully relatively quickly. But uh, you know how we do. Ain't nothing fast around here. Uh, but we're going to get our guests. And Didi, you up first. Why don't you tell us how you want to close out this show? What's your thoughts? I missed you guys. I'm sorry my real job has kept me away from you. But uh, <laughs> if they pay me. Um, my closing, I, I can't say that I have a rant about one thing in particular. I, for me this year, um, I need to step up my game, become stop talking about being socially conscious and do something, actually do something, um, even if it's just helping one person. Um, that's, that's my goal for this year, to set my sights on one person and help them come up, uplift, do something. That's, what I, that's all I have to say. That's it. I, I can dig it. Ain't no half-stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den, Legacy Internet Radio Cast. You want to close it out? What you got? Uh, no, rent. Okay. Um, I just say, do you, be easy, be smart, chill, do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about nobody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Me, I just, I just do what I do. I chill. I don't care about nobody. I don't care about nobody. I really don't. So I just go and I'm on my business. So, I mean, you know. If you're trying to stay out the way, stay out the way. Do what you do. Be smart. Be humble. I can dig it. I'm good. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den. Legacy Internet Radio. We got our sister by. It's our first time up in the joint. It's time for your rant. It's time for you to close it out. Whatever it is you want to close out the show with. Floor is yours, my sister. What you got? I want to say thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, Hannah. Thank you much, um, so much, Marcus, for having me on. Um... I want to say that um, self-awareness is key. You know, get to know who you are. Um, that way, it's a lot easier for you to um, vibe with others. You know, astrology has taught me that, you know, getting to know myself was important because now I understand that certain personalities I may not, you know, immediately vibe with, but now I know why. And it's no reason for me to hate anyone else. You know, we shouldn't hate anybody. You know, love yourself, love each person as you would love yourself and, you know, just promote peace and also have, um, you know, that balance in your life as well, whatever it is that, you know, you do. I appreciate it. It's good to meet you. Good it's to been meet a pleasure you having you here. Definitely. It won't be the, the last time. I was going to make you I'm gonna be make here. that promise that this won't be <laughs> I, the last I'm time. I'm saying it over the air. I will be here again. I can dig it. I can dig it. It's good <laughs> to meet you. Ain't no half stab with Marcus J. My sister, Shana Latia, our clairvoyant medium, who we have every opportunity that she has that we have to fellowship. She has got the mic. Shana, what you got? Um, I just want to say thank you for having me. I'm very thankful and very blessed to be here, and I'm going to try to come as much as I can. We appreciate it. And to it. teach and to be aware of all types of spiritual things. My sister. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, how step on Marcus J. Mr. 3375. What you got, brother? First, let me start with it. An announcement that's going to be coming up this summer with me and the co-host, the first lady of this show, called It's Complicated with S.Y. and Mr. 3375. That's right, that's right. Relationship advice from a man and woman perspective. So if you have any situations or anything you want us to help you with. You'll be able to post that exactly. on our page. We will address you on your page. I mean, if you've got something that serious that you just want to discuss and you don't want it out there, try not to use your name or maybe you might want to speak to us, you know, whatever. 
but it is going to be exciting. I'm I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get this rolling. No doubt. Um, I really don't have a, a rant today, but I just want to put out there that um, I'm an investing in some small businesses now um, just to help out, you know, help them grow. Um, I'm not supporting any big businesses this year. Everything I do is going to be small business, restaurants, clothing, you know, etc. cetera, um, because I think the small business, you know, need to be heard and need to be supported. And also, you know, black-owned businesses, we need to support our community. So that's where my head at is this year, this year so far, and that's what I'm about. Mr. 3375, Instagram, Mr. Underscore 3375, same as Twitter and same as Facebook. Ain't no half step on Marcus yet. Did y'all christen a new first lady up in this joint? At the, he said of this show. Oh, okay. Of this show. Uh, not uh, I'm not the first lady of Legacy Internet who is Radio. That? Who is that? That is the comedianess, Lissa P. All right, make sure. There you go. I, about hey, to, baby. Yeah. I was about to, don't, don't, no. get, don't, don't get us in no trouble now. I'm not taking I don't want to start no trouble. I don't want to start no trouble. Yeah. I love Lisa P. Yeah. That's my she boo right there. Me. That's my boo. Right. It's only one. Mm-hmm. Ain't no half step on Marcus J. All right. Last week on this show, yeah. at this time of the show, mm-hmm. yours truly made yeah. the biggest blunder right. in the history Hell of yeah. Ain't No Half Stepping mm-hmm. with Marcus J. Yes, I can assure did. you. You're that ain't gonna happen tonight. And so tonight, again. right That's now, right. it's time for me to go through my rant <laughs> in my closet. Nah, it's time for my big sis to let us all know why she is in fact a grown. Let me hear my song. I can't woman. hear it because of you. Give me a little what, punk what, ass song. What, give you the intro what, what? and then give me that's a beat. how you give me a beat. It's it's on, I man. Can't hear it. Anyway, that's because your ears are broken. Oh my gosh! Happy New Year again. It is the what second week? Second week. Yes. Of the new year. Mm-hmm. What's that, y'all? Forty nine to go. How many is it? Fifty. Fifty two weeks in a year. Fifty more to go. Okay. So, I don't know about y'all. No, I was quite afraid of twenty sixteen. After I learned today about the Mercury retrograde, <laughs> I'm about to go home and think real careful. <laughs> you know, some things I can't undo. Oops, too late for that. But I'm going to think careful because, yes, indeed, I am still shaking. But it is definitely, definitely a pleasure to have you here and thank you for coming please come back again please come back again and um you know everybody just you know be safe hakeem i didn't hear from you tonight but hey bo and um you know just thank everyone from calling in we appreciate it you know if you don't call in and you're not listening to us i don't want to just talk to marcus by myself so please don't do that just 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 you know keep calling in please help me out but anyway that is it. We appreciate you. I love you, and I'll talk to you Monday. And you know, how stepping with Marcus Jay. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for everybody who has been listening to us tonight. We had listeners in St. Louis, in Texas, in New Jersey, in New York, Atlanta, Charlotte. Shout out to our brother Sid. What up, brother? Nazia, Michelle K, Leisha, Rosa, Nikki, Angie B, Candice, Tori. Uh, hopefully, I got everybody's name in. If I missed you, I swear it ain't because I don't love you. Uh, we appreciate those folks listening to us on TuneIn, on Streamer, listening to the replays right now on YouTube and on iTunes. Shout out to our sponsors, uh, Paradigm Shift. Uh, shout out to our sister, uh, Roberta Hosky, who is going to have her event right here in the capital, ci- capital city of Richmond, Virginia. Uh, the Miss Millionaire Mindset Seminar on January 30th, 2015. Yours truly has been honored to be asked to co-host the event. I will be in the building. Uh, Shout out to our sponsors, Free Spirit Enterprises, Live Action Captions, JT Lewis uh, Insurance. We appreciate those folks. At this time of the show, I want to thank the folks who participated. Uh, Our very special guest in the first segment, our sister Charlene Brown, the property adjustment specialist is her business. Shout out to, of course, our sister Kaz in the building, 
our brother Mr. 3375 in the building, our sister Didi's in the building. Uh, of course, we had our very, very, very special guest, our clairvoyant medium, our sister Shana Latia, and her guest, Miss Boss, and of course, big sis, S.Y. Butler, in the building. At this time of the show, we always profile a missing and or exploited child. Tonight is no different. We are still profiling and looking again for our sister, Akira Bryant. It's been missing since September 3rd, 2015 from right here in the Cap City, Richmond, Virginia. Date of birth, August 30th, 2000. She's 15, black female, brown hair, brown eyes. She's 5'5", five, five, weighs 193 pounds, last seen here in the capital city. If you have seen her, please contact the Richmond City Police Department at 804-646-5100 or contact the National Center for Missing and or Exploited Children on their website, missingkids.com, or call them at 1-800-THE-LOST, 1-800-843-5678. Seven eight. At this time of the show, it's time for me to close it out with my rant. It's time for me to close it out with my closing. And uh, I guess, I guess that's the end of the show. I don't want to go, but you know, it's time. And so, every single week, I always make sure that I put a word out about group economics. We talked a little bit about it when we were talking about the one point three billion dollar Powerball win. You take $1.3 billion, you divide that by 300 million Americans, that's $4.3 million that goes to every single person. Now, we know that ain't going to happen, but the concept is the same. Every single person who is listening to us right now, I need you to go to the website, www.truthfightersministries.com. We got a co-op that's going to be starting here uh, in our country that's going to be starting in the next few weeks. Go on to that website, check it out. I try not to say too much here on the show because I want you to do your research. I want you to be the one to decide if this is something for you. This is something that's led by the number one true fighter, Warren Ballantyne, who joined us here last fall on our show. Uh, he hosts the Warren Ballantyne Show on the Empowerment Radio Network. Need y'all to check this out because it's something that will benefit us as individuals. Uh, because we know we ain't doing nothing unless it benefits us, which is sad, but it's also true. But group economics is the key to making sure that every single person takes care of each other. Now, the only the other thing that I wanted to get to is this gun thing. We talked about it a little bit uh, in the last segment. Like all this talk about gun rights, Second Amendment got me to thinking about the Black Panther Party and how they used to roll up on the set with their heat legally carrying their guns as of course was the law then i stumbled upon the mulford act the mulford act was a 1967 california bill which repealed a law allowing public carrying of loaded firearms it was named after republican assemblyman don mulford the bill garnered national attention after the black panthers marched bearing arms upon the california state capitol to protest the bill the bill was signed by Republican California Governor Ronald Reagan and became a California Penal Code 25850 and 15, excuse me, 171C. Uh, and so there is precedent for the inequality in the application of the Second Amendment, even as far back as nearly 50 years ago. And the NRA, maybe they didn't have the lobbying power then that they have now, but they definitely were in existence and they definitely supported this bill. President of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama, wants consistent checks on gun sales. But they twist his words and say that he wants to take our guns. I think that is absolutely outrageous. And I think it's people like me and people who are on the microphone and on the radio, who are on the street with their bullhorns, letting you know the real letting you know that that ain't what the truth is. He actually, ironically, has been the best thing for gun sales since he took office because the right has folks so damn spooked that they sheep is running to their gun shops to stockpile their guns. That's the myrrh. Marcus's unrelated rant that ain't got nothing to do what well, what we in here talking about tonight? That's the end of the show, y'all. <laughs> I want to remind everybody that independence is, in fact, the key to building your legacy. I also want to say peace to all the stars and all of the squares. And the abundance of water. The fool is thirsty. 
Those are the words of Bob Marley who you hear singing in the background. Ain't no half-stepping with Marcus J. We'll be back next week. But before we go, we're going to run this show right back in its entirety. But we'll be back here live next week, y'all. Peace.